that situation um, that took place um, over the weekend um, in regards to Serena Williams, a whole meltdown, which wasn't really a meltdown. Um, based on my perspective, um, she was just frustrated. You know, the young lady beat her. You know, that judge took a point away from her, but she's Serena. You know, she was frustrated, but she didn't have to act that way or act out that way. You know, that was a bad look. You know, what Serena needs to understand is that, you know, whatever you do is going to be scrutinized. You're already the best in the world. I mean, you should know that um, that industry right there, that sport, they're totally hating on you, you know, from top to bottom. And she has to understand that, you know. Her, her meltdown, her frustration, I mean, was, you know, it was out, it was, it was not, it wasn't, it wasn't called for, that's the point I'm trying to make, it wasn't called for, you understand, and the lying judge, you know, he was just doing his job, and I feel that, like, you know, get on, get it on like that, um, because our match was taken from you, you know, she, she's not a, a poor sport, you understand, like I said, she's the best, and I'm kind of upset that she um, carried herself like that on national television in front of all these these idiots, these clowns. Um, to that point, I didn't agree with her in a post-match news conference when she started stating to the media sexism. You know, look, man. People who are close to me know that I dislike feminism, feminists. I dislike feminists. That's one. Also, this whole sexism thing is getting a bit out of hand because that's the first thing women run to now is sexism. You know, you don't do something they don't like. It's sexism. Me too. You understand? And then all these publications, um, these feminist organizations want to come for your throat. You know. That's my main point about this whole um, this whole lecture I'm giving is that the sexism thing is ridiculous now because every, every woman is running through sexism. Every woman feel like they're wrong if something don't go their way, which is totally wrong, totally impossible. You know what I'm saying? Not everything is sexism, and for her to use that card. You understand? It's just totally ludicrous. You know? The guy was sexist because he took a point away from me. I mean, seriously? I mean, come on something else. And then I got a couple of publications who are, who are running with it. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's my whole point. You know, you can't do nothing in this day and age as a man without being criticized. It's like you're walking on eggshells. And it's totally, you understand? It's totally um, irresponsible. One on women parts and some men parts to call someone sexist just because you don't get your way. Now, third point to that Australia newspaper who um, depicted Serena as sloppy and a crybaby. You know, yes, the pick was eh, a little racist. You know, the pick was a little racist. Um, but you want to know something? If you give people ammunition, they're going to load the guns up. And that and that's what she did. You know, you got to carry yourself in a way where you don't give people any means to come at you. Any. And I think that... I'm not sure she know that. She should know that. You know, if not, then she's a she's an asshole. But that's just, that's just me. But she should know that. Um, on that point, the picture was very disgusting. Um, the young lady, for some reason, she was drawn white. I'm um, not too sure why. Um, but she, Haitian, Japanese, but that's another story, man. Who cares? But um, that's just how these publications are. Um, but like I said, I agree with her on her frustration. But I don't agree with her in regards to um, the post-match news conference. 
and I don't do I don't agree with that publication depicting her in that light. But like I said, if you give people ammunition, they're gonna load the guns up and come for you. Alright, thank you.